Okay, this is on the Magan Mahan job number 53751, installed on 822 by Aaron. So, this is just an AC ad. <clears throat> um, so, cut line right there. Um, existing furnace, we'll add a new coil, one piece of duct and a canvas, and uh, okay. <clears throat> so let's go over the AC real quick. So the line set is right above us. I'm in the attic. So you can see it going up right there. Um, they are sealed with refrigerant in them, probably. Um, so you're going to have to evacuate the line sets and then flush them. <clears throat> there is also no control wire going out to the unit. So you're going to have to run a new control wire up and over. And no one's here to talk to him about it, but I'm guessing you probably just run it on the outside wall if you can't fish it down or fish it down the wall if you can. Um, and out. Okay. So, let's go out and look at the AC unit area. So right here, we use the existing disconnect. Um, it has a 30 amp breaker in it. We will change that breaker. Um, to a 25 amp Siemens breaker. Um, so you do have evacuation ports on here. Um, so you can evacuate them from there, the lines. Um, see if you can straighten it, kink out just a little bit. But otherwise this is 7 8 3 8 Gonna put a new 30 by 30 pad on here. And um, okay, well, okay. <clears throat> um, okay, so the drain, we'll just go to the floor drain. I'm gonna put a coil safety switch on there. Um, On the thermostat, Greg didn't have the, he didn't have put a new one on, um, but no one's home. So I'm gonna give you a new one. This is the old style. Um, I'll just give you a, a T6 single stage thermostat. And if she's here, you may wanna ask her first, um, just to make sure she's okay with the um, other style thermostat. Okay, um, we are going to add a heat vent in the master bedroom um, on the east side over the bed. Um, so I just have eight inch side takeoff, come off the back of the plenum or the top, either one, give you 90, 50 feet of flex with coupling. And then I give you two boots. A straight boot and a 6x12 angle boot. For reasons, if you look up in the attic, um, you can see the end of the attic. And it kind of looks like that's the end, you know, where the wall is. <clears throat> but if you look over here, there it is, an uh, overhang. So it's the same over there. So I give you a straight boot and an angle boot. So you want to get it just as far back over as you can, but it's like a six foot overhang. Um, two of the feet is out, you know, 
outside overhang, but inside it's like four feet. Okay. What else? I'll show you the room inside. So if you come in, go down the hall. This is a master bedroom. So we have one run there. We want to add another one here on the east side over the bed. Um, so So anyway, that's that. Okay, so also, there's a swamp cooler right here. We're going to leave this, but outside we're going to take the swamp cooler off. And it's so old, you can probably just drop it off the roof. Right there. Whoops. Water in the lawn. Um, Right there, but I gave you a uh, 17 and a half by 17 and three quarter cap with two inch liner on it. And I also gave you a two by four box with a flat cover. Uh, just screw the box on the inside and the wire, just wire nut it in there and then put the flat cover and put the end cap on. Um, and seal it and give you some Sikaflex, seal it as best you can. Okay, what else? Um, I believe that's it.